I'm Dean Ralski here reporting from the swamp where the Gators took down the number seven team in the country, Utah Utes, 29 to 26 last night here in this sold out crowd of just over 90,000 at the swamp. It was a great way to open up the Billy Napier era here in Florida. But there were a couple new Gators on the field that also had an impact, including the likes of Ricky Pearsall, the wide receiver transfer from Arizona State, who had six receptions for 74 yards. And true freshman Trevor Etienne also had a great impact on the game at such an early start. But someone who is familiar to this setting is the star quarterback Anthony Richardson. He had three rushing touchdowns, including the game winner that sealed it for the Gators. Let's take a look at some of those highlights. Gators at the two on the right hash. Trips right. Richardson keeps after the play fake. Hops over the goal line. Touchdown, Gators! Sends Henderson in motion to the near side. Fake the handoff, drop back, climb the pocket. Richardson tucks it and runs. He's loose, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, left side to the 10, to the 5. Chump, 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 touchdown, Gators. 45 <laughs> yards on the keep by Anthony Richardson. Side, out of the pistol, Richardson hands it off. There's the first down, 10, 5, Johnson high, steps it into the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. The lead back to Florida at 20 to 9. Richardson in motion right to left. Circles the backfield. Fake the pitch to him. Richardson pumps. Alusa would be sacked. Guns it back of the end zone. Standing there and making the catch for the two-point conversion is Frazier's. What a play by the Florida quarterback. With Montreal Johnson next to him. Keeps after the fake. Running right. Plows in the end zone. Touchdown, Gators! Touchdown, Gators! Florida leads it by two, 28 20. Now the shotgun with Bernard off his right hip, looking to throw. Guns it for the end zone. Intercepted! Amari Bernie just intercepted it. <laughs> One yard in the end zone. So as you saw, this game was down to the wire and the winner was decided in the final seconds. And it feels like this atmosphere here at the Swamp pushed their team over the finish line yesterday. And it was capped off with an Amari Bernie interception in the final 20 seconds of the game. So after the game, we were able to hear from Coach Napier who had a lot to say about this atmosphere and also how hard they've been working over the summer and to see it finally pay off here in week one. And we also heard from Anthony Richardson who also had some thoughts on this amazing atmosphere and how he's settling in to his system as the number one quarterback. Look, before we get going here, I think um, I just want to thank our fans for coming out. You know, I think that was the 10th largest crowd in the history of the school. And um, we said in the very beginning it was going to take a team effort to get this done, to, to, to build, to create momentum, right? Positive energy on the outside. Um, and it, they made a difference tonight. Um, there's no question that they impacted the game. Yeah, I think I told one of our guys during the game, I said, can you believe they pay us to do this? Um, so, I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, it's a game of football, right? And I think that uh, sometimes we get caught up with the, the event, you know, we get caught up in the event. Uh, but what's rewarding is when you know what, went into the event, right? The preparation for the event. I mean, you go all the way back to January. It's the unique thing about the game of football. I mean, you countless hours, okay? On the books, off the books, okay? Not just players, but staff members. Well, it was different for sure. You know, uh, first few drives, uh, I messed up on a couple of plays, forgot some motions, and I was a little jittery, you know, uh, just being out there. It was definitely fun, you know? First start here in the swamp, second career start. So uh, I was definitely uh, you know, in my head a little bit, but uh, the game was fun. Shout out to Utah, shout out to my teammates. But yeah, I was definitely a little jittery. Uh, they definitely asked me um, how I felt about certain plays. Uh, when we're game planning, they always ask which plays I like, which plays I don't like. So I feel like I, I do have a say so, but it's not really up to me to call the plays. It's Coach Nate, I just have to uh, execute and make sure I do my job and hold my teammates accountable. So as you heard from Coach Napier and Anthony Richardson, there's plenty to be excited about after their 29 to 26 win over the Utah Utes. But they can't celebrate this win too long as they've got the Kentucky Wildcats coming to town next week. Reporting from the Swamp here in Gainesville, I'm Dean Rolski.